Hello guys, my name is Anaf and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to start a new series on making a Discord bot using Python. This series is intended to teach you the basics of the discord.py library um, about how to make a basic discord bot also if i get time and if this if the series uh moves forward a bit and i don't quit in the middle of it then i may be able to show you guys how to make different features for a bot such as moderation uh economy means integrating a database etc so it's going to be pretty fun. So uh, before I start this video, I need to tell you something that if you want to follow this tutorial, uh, I recommend that you have at least a basic understanding of Python and the object oriented programming feature in Python. So it will be easy for you to follow along uh, in the video, uh, follow along the video. But you can still continue if you don't know Python, but it's better to at least know the basics of Python and object-oriented programming. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the environment for making your Discord bot. And the library that we're going to be using is called Discord.py. So... This is the discord.py library. I'm on GitHub and I'm going to be putting the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. And this is a really powerful library. This is an API wrapper for the Discord API, uh, which helps you to make your bots and some modern Pythonic API using async and away. So asynchronous programming, uh, which means that the events are independent and they will uh, like what well, I'm not the best person to explain asynchronous programming so you can search Google about uh, about that but asynchronous programming is basically the events are independent and they are working simultaneously so if one event stops the others will still keep going it's not like threads and also it has 100% coverage for the supported discord API and for installing this library, you need to have like Python 3.5.3 or higher. So let me check what version of Python I'm using. Python minus minus version. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, my is typing. Oh, I'm using Python 3.8.3. So the latest version of Python is 3.8.4, but I recommend you guys use the latest version. So this is a quick example of a bot. And uh, basically, you can make a bot like this or in this way, but I'm gonna follow this way because this is more easier. And also, you can install it by typing this command. And there are some uh, optional packages. And here we have the documentation for the Discord.py library. I mean, when I meant that this library is very powerful. I meant that this library is super powerful. You can do lots of things, like even access the core Discord API with this uh, Discord.py library. And the documentation is really huge. Got a lot of things in here. Uh, we have got the client, which is supposed to be the bot. And uh, we've also got voice, the Opus library. Uh, this is used for music streaming or voice. You also have different models like uh you guys can check the documentation if you oh, excuse me i just burped okay you guys can check the documentation if you want later uh i'm going to leave all the links in the description below so you guys can check it out and i'm not going to just waste my time showing you guys the documentation whoa oh there's spotify i didn't know spotify could be used uh with this code up hi okay so let's uh get started on installing the library so at first uh this is like just a command prompt you can open pressing windows plus r and typing cmd uh you can open it with that now i'm going to type something and you can use this command to install almost any module so <clears throat> i'm using the rewrite branch of discord.py because this is the newest one and 
like people are using this more than the async branch which was which was like available or mainly used a few years ago so the rewrite branch is the newest and by default when you inst uh, write the command to install the score.py it installed the rewrite branch so type the following command python minus m pip install discord now press enter and wait a bit because my internet is slow so it may take some time yeah so i've already like installed it so requirement already satisfied so that's basically it on installing the discord.py library and i have Visual studio code open like this is just Visual studio code and i have opened a folder called youtube and i have this file called bot.py which is literally empty i have nothing in here so now i'm going to type some code in and basically all bots that are written in discord.py will have similar uh co sorry uh code similar to the one that i'm not going to write oh i'm stuttering a lot why so i'm just going to show you guys uh, the code you do not need to understand it now uh you just need to make sure that you have the same code as mine so uh, you can see if your discord.py is correctly set up or not and before that i also need to show you one thing for making a bot you need to make a discord application now these applications are basically can be used for games uh and a rich presence etc but i'm going to use this application for bot so you can go to discord.com slash developers slash applications you need to sign into your account and you see i have a few bots including exo exo is over here i also have my grover bot uh which i didn't release also i have, a, I have my az bot which i literally abandoned okay so this is like a waste also have some COVID-19 resource bot, my AI chatbot called Euphoria, El Amigo's bot for uh, one of my friend's bots, um, I mean one of my friend's servers, so whatever. So go to Slink and click new application and name it whatever you want. So uh, which team? Personal or executive team? No. I'm going to keep it personal and name it anything you want. I'm going to name it YouTube Test Bot. Okay. I'm going to click create. And now it's going to create a new application <laughs> sorry excuse me i have a cold uh so this is basically the youtube test bot uh you can uh give a neat icon but this is just an application this is not a bot yet to make it into a bot we need to go to this bot tab and create build a bot and bring your app to life by adding a bot user this action is irreversible because robots are way too cool to destroy okay so click add bot and yes do it so this is my bot now i can give it an awesome icon if i want but i'm not going to give it now so this is the bot and you can give your bots a few permissions uh this is not really necessary because when you're going to get the bot link uh you are going to give it permissions so now we have the bot the bot is created but now how do we even add it to a server well we can add it to a server by clicking uh oauth2 then over here in scopes we're going to click the bot like check mark and here's the link and we can give the bots uh permissions by checking all of these and as you can see the link modifies according to permission so now i'm going to the for now i'm going to give my bot administrator permissions but if you don't want your bot to get a administration uh, sorry administration ah uh, administrator permissions then you can uh select uh whatever you want but i'm gonna give it administrator so i'm gonna copy this link go over here and go over here and like paste the link and go to the, go to the link now i can add the bot so youtube test bot uh since i don't have a logo it's not showing so i can just add it to bot test zone uh with it which is my bot testing server authorize 
and uh, make sure and yeah I'm pretty sure I'm not a robot or am I who knows I may be a robot so the box not authorized and if I go to my bot server I uh, bought a zone but yeah see EXO has welcomed the bot, so this is my bot EXO, I was, I literally made a live stream just yesterday coding on this bot, and it just welcomed the bot to the server. So, I'm here in bot test, this is the bot, it's now in my server. Now, how do we make this bot come to life? Pretty simple, we have to code. So, oh sorry, this is Streamlabs, <laughs> wow. Okay, so now let's start with the code, uh, you don't need to understand it, just make sure you have the same code as mine, and then we can run the bot. So from the start, uh, we are going to import Discord. So you remember the module we installed, the Discord module, uh, using this command prompt? We are importing that in Python. Now we are going to import uh, uh, discord.ext. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I messed up the line. Wow. Well, from discord.ext uh, I guess it's called extension I think discord.extension import commands so I'm going to uh, tell you guys about it in a minute so basically we're importing discord and we're importing from discord.ext import commands now we're going to initialize a bot variable so this is going to be our bot the bot variables uh, equals to commands dot bot so and command prefix so this is our command prefix uh, we're going to use for the bot let's say the command prefix is this or let's say the command prefix is now nah, I'm gonna keep it this exclamatory sign so we have used the command uh, class that we have imported and we have used the bot property, the bot method, and made a bot object. So this is the bot object now, and we have made pretty good use of the commands class. So now we are going to make an event. So you might not know what an event is, but an event, uh, I think I'm not the best person to explain what an event is, but an event is basically a state of the bot when something happens uh, for example an event is when the bot gets ready an event is like whenever there is a message an event is triggered okay so this is an on message event so this is what i mean um uh, you don't need to understand about events right now i'm going to explain it in like a later video uh in like good detail so for now just stick with me so now we're going to do at, at uh, it's a command decorator a function decorator you can call it at bot dot event so we are saying that this is a bot event now we're going to do async def so we want to make this function asynchronous uh, because we don't want to block the bot whenever something happens async def on ready so make sure the name of the function is on ready and so basically the on ready event is like whenever you run the script and the bot like collects information from this code when it's in a stable position to get uh, to start working on commands and when it's just all working smoothly then the bot is going to trigger a state when it's ready so at that moment the the on ready event is going to get triggered so now we're going to write what we want the bot to do when the on ready event is triggered i want the bot to print ready so ready and also we can uh ready uh I'm using a backslash n to break a line and I'm gonna make it an f string so I can insert it and I don't need to format it auto my like with the dot format so the username of the bot like you can print literally anything you want but I'm going to like make it the way I like it so username is going to be 
bot.user so this is the user property of the bot object so as you can see in the documentation the client the client is basically the bot so bot has a user variable i mean a user property or is the user property uh client dot user oh yeah this is the user client dot user represents the connected client none if not logged in so this is the user object and i'm representing the bot dot user so it's going to give you the username so ready username this is the username so now we need to call the run function for the bot to run so we can Okay, bot dot run and now we need to insert a token so basically the token is a piece of code or kind of like a password thingy that discord generates for your bot uh, so you can link your code like this is the code and link your code with the bot application so that you can perform different types of functions with it and your token has to be private because if someone else gets their hand on their tokens, uh, your token, then they are going to be able to control your bot. They can write their own scripts, they can use your token, and they can spam people, they can like uh, ban other people, like mess up your server or anywhere the bot like is being used in. So that's why your token has to be private. But if someone has your token, you can always regenerate one by using the regenerate button. But for now, I'm going to show you guys my token because this is a tutorial and I need to show you guys how to use it. But I can regenerate it whenever I want. So this is the token in the bot section. You can click a copy. Now in the bot.run, we're going to make a string. And I'm going to paste it in. So this is my token for now. And I'm gonna regenerate it later after this video so now I'm going to save this uh, this Python script and now I'm gonna run this box so I'm going to type in the command prompt Python oh let me just clean it Python bot.py like make sure you're in the same folder uh, as the bot file I'm in the YouTube folder this is the YouTube folder and let me if I do dear I have the bot.py file here. So python bot.py. And now the bot is going to get ready. It's going to take some time. And whenever it's ready, it's going to print the message. So let's wait for a bit. Okay, you see, ready, a break line, and then bot. And the username is YouTube test bot hashtag 6224. And this is the username uh, of the bot. Uh, let's go to discord and as you can see the bot is off uh, online but now if i type in like help uh not help let's say type ping nothing will happen because uh there are no commands coded in the bot i just coded an event so uh it's okay if you guys don't understand what i did with the event uh but make sure you guys understand this part and this part I'm going to explain uh, events and commands in a later video but make sure your bot works and if it, if you face any sorts of errors uh, be sure to like state it in the comment section below so I can try to help you out so anyways guys thanks for watching be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time so peace out